So good morning, friends, to this lovely Sunday morning. I, on behalf of Brand Club Ahmedabad, welcome you all to this enriching session. Let me introduce Brand Club Gujarat. It's a club of and for like-minded individuals involved in the various facets of advertising and marketing communication. The mission of the club is to create forums and events to help its members improve their professional competencies, thereby raising the standards of advertising of the state. It is a forum of fraternity, by the fraternity, and for the fraternity. We have been active in the state for more than a decade now with very fruitful and constructive initiatives. Taking further the legacy of the brand club, this session will definitely be a feather in the cap by having Bobby with us. Our Bobby doesn't need any introduction, but as for the sanctity of the forum and as the ritual, I take this privilege to introduce him. Bobby Pumar has been the former chairman and Chief Creative Officer of Havas Group India. While Bobby, interestingly, says he's allergic to math, his numbers aren't half bad. Bobby is a two-time copywriter of the year. He is among the most awarded creatives from India with over 500 local and international level medals. He was campaign Asia Creative Person of the Year India and South Asia, Indian Advertising Association Creative Agency Leader of the Year, and he is consistently, consistently ranked among the most influential and creative people in India. Prior to joining Havas, Bobby spent five and a half years in publicis. His mandate was to turn around the agency during his stint. Publicis created some of the country's most talked about and effective campaigns, and he helped grow the agency's top line significantly. Before this, he was the chief creative officer at JWT, where he made a marked difference in the agency's creative product. Bobby also had spent four and a half years as CCO of DDB Mudra Group. There he was tasked with the raising creative bar across many disciplines, including digital, experiential, and media. As a result, he transformed the group into one of the most hottest agencies in the country. Plus, Bobby worked for seven years in the United States. He had long stints in Ogilvy, New York, and BBDO, Chicago, where he ran many big brands. One of his films, ran on the Super Bowl and he also featured, he's also, it was also featured in MoMA and nominated for an Emmy. Right now, Bobby has chosen to step away from advertising after amazing 30 years, 31 years and do for his life what he did for so many agencies. Take it to a new height. Interesting. We at Brand Club, Gujarat feel fortunate and blessed having the very apt interesting topic called Creativity is logic plus magic. As the famous quote by Albert Einstein says, creativity is intelligence, having fun. Creativity is so much more than just an art. Creativity is an art, science, and commerce. And I believe creativity doesn't end, not the property of any advertising agency profession, but creativity is applicable to every sphere of life and profession. To make it effective, we need to have a great blend of magic and logic. Who else can express and explain it better than Bobby? Before handing over to forum to Bobby, I would request all the participants to kindly switch off, mute their mics, but switch on their videos so that it feels like at the same to you and not to machine. Right? So over to you with a big round of applause to Bobby. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, you know, uh, I'm not sure whether I deserve all the kind words, but I'll uh, gratefully take them. And so uh, I'm just going to, uh, you know, it's a uh, really interesting, uh, I hope everybody can hear me just fine, right? Yeah. So uh, I know, uh, I mean, everybody talks about creativity and all of that, and especially now creativity in, in the age of AI, right? What will happen to it? I think, um, so let me just get back to the basics, right? Um, what does creativity do? Why is it important even, right? And it's been said, right? Creativity is a force for growth. Now, can any of you guess who has said and proved it? You know, you might think it's a Piyush Pandey or a David Abbott or a Bill Burnbach or uh, whatever, David Droger. Uh, you know, uh, one of the advertising gurus, right? But it's, that's not the truth, right? 
I think you're going to be very, very surprised who it is. Uh, the people who sort of said and proved it are Deloitte, right? Just imagine that. This is not, uh, what do you call it, uh, creative uh, enterprise, right? Although they are dabbling in it, they've bought quite a few creative agencies, right? They're a consultancy. So why... Uh, They've studied it for brands and businesses and proven that beyond a doubt. Um, I have the study somewhere, uh, but I've left it out because that itself going through it will take half an hour, right? I can send you uh, guys a link to the study. The question remains, what do I think, right? Uh, and I'm telling you, uh, and um, maybe uh, the answer will surprise you, Yeah. I believe that uh, you know you should not focus on so much on creativity, right? Uh, you should focus on what really is the purpose uh, that we exist for, right? Uh, creativity does not build brands. Creativity does not build brands or businesses, right? Uh, it is a tool that helps do that, but what helps build brands that business is, is being more persuasive than your competition, right? You have to persuade people that your brand makes a bigger difference in their lives than anybody else. That's all this is all about, right? When people talk about media and the message and, uh, you know, uh, uh, what uh, programmatic and all of that, See, these are all uh, tools, right? And uh, these are all commoditized tools, right? The data you have is kind of the data that most people have because all this stuff can be bought, right? Your access to Facebook is everybody's access to Facebook or Google or whatever. But what do you have to do at the end of the day? The smartest, the most uh, high-tech thing in the world is not going to work if you're not if you cannot persuade people that your brand uh, is plays a stronger uh, role in people's lives, it benefits their lives far more than uh, your competition does, right? That's all this is all about, right? And what I'm trying to do is, uh, and I'll tell you why is that persuasiveness is not just a thing in, um, you know, uh, advertising or brand building, right? I mean, this is what we do in our lives, right? Now just imagine, right? Uh, you're a guy, right? And uh, you've been out for, you know, a while, right? But, on a business trip, you've been out for about 10 days. You come back the uh, next day, you want to take your wife out on a date, right? And, but there's a place you want to go to and you suggest that place. Let's say it's all in, right? And you've been there a long time. So she said, why can't you try something different, you know? And, um, so, It's a, there are a couple of ways you could go at it. You could be very, very logical, right? And say that this is the best uh, rated. Olive is still the best rated, this thing. And she'll say, okay, it's fine. Uh, it's highly rated. But, you know, you always keep on doing the same thing. And right? you don't want to try out new things and all that. Why do we have to go? Right? Now, if you go down purely just the logical path, What's going to happen is that both of you are going to have an argument and you will not get your way, right? But what if you tell her that, okay, you know what? Let's, I'll look for a different restaurant. Or let's try something new. But you know, tomorrow I've been away for a long time and uh, I just wanted us to go back to Olive because of a special reason. And, and she'll say, why? Because, you know, what special reason can there be? Because you've been to Olive so many times. And so, you know, uh, 
Remember that time, like 12 years back, uh, when we went on a double date with Nita and uh, Ravi? And uh, I was eating tomato soup and some of that dribbled onto my chin. And you picked up your napkin and wiped my chin, even though I was not uh, aware that it was going on. Right? And uh, that moved me a lot because you it showed that you cared for me so casually and instinctively, right? And when you left uh, to go to the washroom, I told uh, Nita and Ravi, that's the girl I'm going to marry, right? And that's why I want you to uh, go to Olive. Is she going to say no? Right? And that's what magic does, right? When you do, when you go beyond, you take something that's logical, right? You want to go back and revisit your memory. That's a logical thing to do. But you add the magic of a story to it, now it becomes powerful and becomes persuasive, right? Uh, I, that's uh, why I said there's got to be uh, logic and magic to everything, yeah? Do you guys get it? Um, any questions? Anything before um, I go on? Yeah, you can message in the chat box if there is any question. Yeah. Huh? Right. So, uh, you know what? And what I'm going to try to do is just lay down simple principles of being powerfully persuasive, right? Very simple, and I will uh, give you examples of that, right? One way to do it is to make your sales pitch disarmingly entertaining. And how do you do that? In the sense, a lot of times when people say, oh, you know, after uh, it's selling hard is okay when you're selling face-to-face. -face. Advertising, you need to be clever, intelligent, and all of that. Uh, I abhor the words clever and intelligent, right? I'd rather make it insightful and entertaining. Okay? And sell as hard as you want. So when I was working on the Make My Trip uh, campaign, right? Uh, Deep Color, the founder, right, of Make My Trip, he said, I said, I mean, we had presented a campaign that was like highly emotional and all of that. I said, Dude, I asked him, uh, they bought it. I asked him, what's your business problem? Your, your marketing guy has not told me what the business problem is. He said, you know, really the problem I want to solve for is, uh, you know, I don't make as much money on flights. The real money is made to be made on hotels and all of that. And people generally don't book online on hotels. And this was way back, right? This is like six, eight, six, seven years, maybe a bit more than that back. And uh, so why is it that? I asked him. He said, but, um, he said, most people think, you know what, they can get a better deal for themselves or they have a travel agent or they know somebody, right? Or they think, I'll go there and negotiate for myself. I'm a king, right? They think they're heroes, but actually they're losers. So I said, dude, we should do a campaign on that, right? And they'd sign Ranveer and Alia. So I said, both of them heroes. No? We'll say, okay, the simple premise of the campaign is one of these heroes is going to be a loser every single time. Whoever plays the consumer is going to be a, a loser every single time. And uh, we'll do a hardcore sales pitch for me, uh, Make My Trip. Just make it entertaining as hell and make the sales pitch pivotal to uh, the entertainment, right? And as with every great comedy, there's a strong insight. There has to be a strong insight uh, in each one of the commercials, right? So I'll just play one of them for you. You might have seen it. Okay, son. Hmm? Where do you think Sam is from? London, sir. Yeah, but hey, where is he? Do you know? Sam! Hmm. Did you get that booking of Paris? Of course. I have a friend who always does my international flights and hotel bookings. Why? Why do you ask? No, he's 
एम एम टी पे कुछ अच्छे डील्स चल रहे थे तो really? सिर्फ मेक माई ट्रिप पर मिलते हैं बेस्ट डील्स ऑन इंटरनेशनल फ्लाइट एंड होटल इसलिए इंटरनेशनल ट्रिप ओनली विद मेक माई ट्रिप राइट वट एवर योर सेल्स पिच इज मेक एन इंसाइट फॉर मेक एन एंटरटेनिंग Yeah, it's very it's simple. The sales pitch is that the new world of uh, booking hotels is much better than the old uh, way of booking hotels, right? The other way to uh, be powerfully uh, persuasive is to make the core of your offering culturally evocative, right? Uh, I had to launch uh, Skoda Kodiak. It's an SUV, right? In uh, here in India, and. Uh, I mean, we could have done uh, what every car and SUV. This thing showcased the car, uh, talked about what a brute a performer and uh, how handsome it is. But at the end of the day, right? The SUV stand for power and dominance and you know ruggedness. But this was also a very very beautifully designed uh, SUV. that was as capable as anything else that uh, on the market probably more so right so we took that uh, this thing of you know power and beauty and we said okay how do you make that powerful is there sometimes uh, okay we can just say that it is powerful and beautiful and it be like any commercial in in, in the world all right and it won't move anybody right it won't persuade uh, anybody but we looked at okay how do you make it culturally evocative what's the cultural inside the cultural narrative right and if you are but pa that is beautiful the what, what is the thing that you can lean on in culture and this was the answer we came to Again, the the our cultural things are all around us, right? The brand is not just a point of purchase; it is a point of view as well, right? That underlines what is great about the brand. Yeah. So that's one principle. The other is, you know, everybody says, "Hey, if you want to get get product demonstrated." Right, the benefit. Well, I said, why should you? Demonstrations are dime a dozen, 
right? But if you add an emotional layer to it, man, it becomes that much more powerful. There's insight, there's human behavior, there's, you know, a truth to it, right? It's not just one product saying, hey, look at me, I'm better than the, this thing. People might see that, believe it, but they won't be moved by it as much, right? The same demo can be so much more effective if there's a human angle, powerful human angle to it, right? And uh, so the, this case just demonstrates it. घर एक स्वर्ग होता है जैसे चाहे रो जियो लेकिन मेरे साथ ऐसा नहीं था बड़ा प्यारा बेटा है खली बस कभी कभी अपनी ही ताकत नहीं समझ पाता जिस ताकत ने मेरे को दुनिया भर में मान सम्मान दिलाया वही ताकत मेरी प्रॉब्लम बढ़ गई कभी सोचता था मैं अगर मैं औरों की तरह होता पर मेरी माँ कहती थी नहीं बेटे तू स्पेशल है और ऐसा ही चलता रहा अपने आप को मैं हेल्पलेस फील करता था फिर एक दिन मासी ने बताया अंबुजा सिमेंट से घर बना लो उसके बाद पता चला घर पे रहने का मजा है होल थिंग इज अ डेमो राइट इट्स अ डेमो हाउ वीक दी अदर सिमेंट एज कंपेयर टू द जॉइंट स्ट्रेंथ Oh, Ambuja, this thing. One of the things is, and when you do it right, right, um, it can give you amazing results. So I think about two weeks after this uh, commercial uh, ran, uh, I got a cake in the office, a massive cake, right? Uh, it was from Ajay Kapoor of uh, Gujarat Ambuja. Simon, he said, "Hey, you know, this is for you guys." So I called him. It's I've been said whatever. I know you know it was from. So I called him. I said, "Man, if he wanted to send something, he should." This like two weeks is too late, no. But if he was happy with it, we could have sent it like three days later after he'd seen the commercial and uh, and approved it. But why two weeks? So I called him and said, "Man." I, Thank you for the cake, but why after two more than two weeks? He said, uh, "Yeah, uh, I know everybody loves the commercial and fire. That's the this thing." But uh, I said, "But you have found out in a week that people love the commercial. Your peers love the commercial." I said, "He said at any party I go to, on the other CEO said, 'Me, kya ad banana boss apne.' He said, well, 'That's all fine uh, and dandy.'" But my share price has gone up," he said, "and I've done nothing different. I've not launched a new product. Nothing. No results are now. The only thing that's different is that this commercial has run, and my share price has been affected, right? And sometimes that can happen, right? Also, again, I think these things are about nuances, right? If you look at it, uh, this could have been just slapstick comedy, right? A big man just breaking things, and then he can't break Ambuja cement. But if you add the story, right? That's not what this uh, story is about, though. No? The story is about the pathos of a man who's too big and strong for this world, right? So the slapstick nature happens in the video, but what Khali is talking about, ki bhai. You know, I've had so many problems because of my size and strength, right? And that makes it like it's a bit of a, like nuanced, empathetic humor, right? You feel for him, but it's still funny, right? So sometimes, just when you hit the idea, go deeper into it, right? People say dig wide now. I said first dig and dig deep, yeah. The other thing is, right? Uh, 
if you are a challenger brand, if you don't have the budget, uh, you'll never have the budget of a leader, right? Then what you have to do is disrupt everything in the category, right? And uh, for the next, this thing, this commercial was uh, never, uh, I think it was aired maybe for a week, 10 days on TV, not even probably. And most of it was uh, online, right? This was Policy Bazaar before, way before it became big. It was small, uh, tiny budget. Uh, the commercial was produced for next to nothing. And it got so successful that they, every time they went away from it, uh, whatever they did next wasn't as effective. So they incorporated this thing in everything that they did for quite some time. ये है मिस्टर वर्मा इन्होंने खरीदी कई इंश्योरेंस पॉलिसीज बिना पॉलिसी बाजार डॉट कॉम पे कंपेयर किए तो बस फिर क्या इन्हें लग गया हर महीने पांच हजार का चूना वो भी पूरे बीस सालों तक ये तो बन गए उल्लू बनना अच्छी बात नहीं आइए पॉलिसी बाजार डॉट कॉम और कंपेयर कीजिए सभी इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज के प्लान इज वेरी सिंपल राइट इट ब्रेक्स ऑल द नॉर्म्स ऑफ इंश्योरेंस कैटेगरी एडवर्टाइजिंग राइट बट इट मेक्स इट्स पॉइंट एंड मेक्स इट ड्रामेटिकली इट टेक्स ऑन द दिसिंग ऑफ दीज एजेंट्स who come and try to sell you what they have not necessarily try to give you a solution for what you need in your life the other thing is you know the one of the big things is that we are not always going to have a differentiated product and in this world of like commoditization of benefits the products not all that differentiating so the so one thing is probably in today's day and age that's more possible than a completely differentiated product is a completely differentiated brand and so a friend of mine uh, scott goodson he uh, started and runs uh, strawberry frog right an independent agency So uh, he got to work on uh, this brand. It's a brand of uh, mineral water. Okay. And how many of those exist? The tons. They they were late in the Aquafina. All kinds of things are there. Kinley, uh, and I'm talking about globally, not here. Evian. All these brands exist. There are millions, if not millions, millions. The exaggeration. There probably at least be a thousand brands, right? And this is in the U.S. Easily a thousand brands of water. There's a, you know what? Uh, he had upon an insight. But man, uh, every uh, bit of water talks to. uh doesn't have an attitude it is about the water it's about all of that and they more or less look the same and there's uh nobody who is talking to the gen z people their life right what do gen z people do right what what are they more likely to drink in uh, this thing and love is energy drinks what are they most likely to do is have things that say something about themselves and then they become shareable on their social handles so as a he lost the water and this is what it is it's called liquid death water is supposed to be you know uh, it's a fountain of life yeah and he called it liquid death but he brought it back to the and this thing 
is that it's a category benefit, bro. Water quenches thirst. But the attitude is murder your thirst. Now, murder your thirst is a hashtag that you can put proudly on your best thing. This packaging looks more like uh, energy drink packaging than, uh, you know, mineral water packaging. It comes in a can like energy drinks now. So, I mean, they just appended everything about the, the category. Appealed to a sharp audience, right? And it changed everything. Became a, a $500 million brand and sometimes. I just, once you say, hey, murder your thirst, right? Everything uh, writes itself, right? It's like, don't be scared. It's just water. Right? It's just uh, liquid death. So imagine this, right? You are 21 years old and uh, you're drinking water. What are you going to most likely do a selfie off and post? Evian or liquid death? That's what happened, right? And this is the kind of, like, they produce this video for next to nothing. It's an iPhone, you know, this, right? And stock footage. Hi, I'm a professional actor. And I'm getting paid to tell you about a revolutionary new product. Liquid death, mountain water. For years, a bunch of marketing fuckboys have tricked you into thinking that water is just some girly drink for yoga moms. Just look at all the cute brand names and dainty little bottles. Well, hold on to your hot dogs, because I got news. Water isn't cute. Water is deadly. It kills innocent surfers and snowboarders and kayakers. Every year, water is responsible for thousands and thousands of deaths. Energy drinks only kill like what, one or two kids. So please, don't fall for the marketing bullshit. Water is not yoga. Water is liquid death. And that's why this brand needs to exist. To finally give water the ice cold can and ice cold name it deserves. A brand that parents will hate, but kids might love. Liquid death, mountain water. Made from the deadliest stuff on earth. Please, enjoy responsibly. Who would advertise water like this? Right? So, sometimes the product in that can is the same. It's the idea of the brand that's different. That's all it is. No audience know how to appeal to them in a way that nobody has done before. It's all there in front of you. You... The question is, do you have the courage to do it? The other thing is, like, you know, be how do you be persuasive in social media, right? You need to game it, right? Uh, take something that's authentic to you, right? But follow the principles, right? Now, this is the reset that's happened, right? What's the best uh, Instagram uh, brand world do they have in common, right? They publish content related to my daily life, interests or hobbies. They publish valuable images, videos, stories, or live content related to my industry or career, right? So it's either benefit uh, me in life or career. The other thing, a smaller portion of that is uh, uh, the content's entertaining. I'll take you a, a couple of brands that did this brilliantly. Yeah, they're very small brands that became big. Uh, okay, now this started off as a community brand, and they started doing products, right? And their whole thing is to help, you know, uh, post stuff that makes women feel confident, feel great about themselves, right? And that's what so. All the choice, uh, choice of fonts, the choice of messaging, all of that is that. That's their purpose on uh, social media, right? And therefore, the, that purpose also defines the kind of products that they create, right? I mean, simple. Be a nice human. Be present wherever you are. No, these are very, uh, in a sense, useful, inspiring, uh, you know, feel-good messaging, right? And... Uh, with next to no budgets, they got uh, like a huge following, right? And they built a business 
not just a community, but a business uh, on the basis of that. The other brand that is really good uh, and is, um, it's a brand of luggage, again, a late entry, right? Nothing terribly distinguishing about the luggage, except that it's great value, right? But then there are lots of great value luggage brands. But what do they do on uh, uh, Insta, right? What they did is took that name uh, seriously, right? That luggage is not what do you want. What do you want is to go places. And luggage is what enables you to do that. So that's why instead of doing our thing as like, uh, you know, Samsonite ad, but, uh, posts and all that, we just we'll act like a um, uh, travel brand. You know, I will act like Lonely Planet would on Insta, right? Okay, so that's what the philosophy in this thing, and they've been very successful in doing this. Okay, so follow uh, the principles, have a different point of view, uh, be differentiated from the character, right? The other thing is uh, to have a strong purpose, right? And especially when you use influencers, right? Now, when uh, I launched uh, Durex Mutual Climax Condoms, right? What do all these Mutual Climax Condoms do is that they make sure that, you know, in you orgasm at the same time, both of you orgasm, right? That's what Mutual Climax is. Um, I'm sorry about the uncomfortable... Uh, conversation, but it uh, makes a very strong point, right? Uh, but what we did is said, okay, you know what? Uh, we went back and said, okay, but if you're talking about that, what is the reality, right? The reality is we found that through uh, research that 74% of women fake orgasms, right? And the guys never know about it. And they think uh, the woman's having a good time because she's that good of an actress and she can. That. She does that because she cares about a man and, uh, you know, making him feel good, right? Even though she isn't. So I said, you know what? These conversations are taboo in this uh, country. We, but these conversations need to be had, right? Especially when your purpose is to make sure that people go from just having sex to having great sex. For both partners, right? So we ran a whole campaign called Orgasm Equality, right? Uh, and we used influencers who are outspoken, uh, right? And uh, about this. And it just... Hey guys, I'm Kani Soka and I was recently watching Pooja Bedi and Durex's video and apparently 70% of Indian women fake their orgasms, which is a lot. Although I'm not too surprised because I've had to fake a few myself and not just in comedy videos. I've had to fake orgasm so many times that this one time I decided I'm going to be honest. So after the guy was done, he looked at me and he said, are we good? And I was like, no, actually we're not good. So he got up, went to the bathroom, turned around and said, cool, I'll let you finish up and then just shut the door. So you know what? Yeah, I'm glad we're talking about fake orgasms. Girls, if you've ever had to fake one, then comment in the comments below with the hashtag, I faked it too. And let's get this party started. Well, not party, but this conversation started. Although it could be a party if we orgasmed. <laughs> oh. All right, you know what? Just, yes, go Durex for bringing this up. All right. So, but Ken, it took one influencer, then the second influencer reacted to uh, what he said, right? Then the guys joined in to the conversation. Hi, guys. Uh, so, I just got to know a very interesting fact from Urex this morning that 70% uh, um, of women in India don't orgasm while having sex. Uh, which means that 70% of women don't enjoy sex as much as they can. So, on behalf of all men, I'm sorry, girls. We did not know. Like, we had no idea about this. So, 
guys, I think it's time to talk about orgasm yeah. inequality. So, what do you guys think? This conversation started on uh, this thing, then we launched a commercial. And then we came back after the commercial was launched with the sort of uh, com- social media campaign about how the women and guys are feeling now, how their relationship and their sex life has changed, right? So that's one way to do it, right? Have a strong purpose, right? That's beyond just the product benefit, but how it can change people's, uh, a part of people's lives or uh, their relationships, okay? And if you can correct a, a wrong while doing so, so much the better, yeah? I'll tell you, uh, the last one principle, there are many, but for the book, I'll uh, talk about is uh, know your fight, right? So when uh, big cinemas, it used to be big cinemas, right? Uh, Reliance, ADAG had uh, but all these, I think uh, they were the number one uh, cinema house in the country. Then, then they sold it off. And the uh, CEO called Madhukar Kamad. Madhukar Kamad was the CEO of uh, Motrad. And I, too, the, the CEO wanted to do a brand campaign. And he had like 12 crores, 14 crores do that. Uh, and he briefed us on it, you know, that we have the best entertainment and all that. We need to talk about that. Like, it's not uh, this thing. And uh, I heard him out, uh, okay. I had pretty decent budget, um, and uh, so, but um, I called him back about four or five days later, and on that, um, I said, "Hey, can I come see you?" Right, uh, there was a long trek to Gorikam, but uh, they were in the this uh, no. Film city, are film city, right? So when the I was telling him, you know, I mean, you have the best collection of entertainment. So does everybody. Maybe the TV channels have it more of it, right? You know, but you know what's different about theaters, and especially you, since you're the largest chain of theaters, is that actually a theater is where the community gets together, right? It's a community space where people of different kinds from one community come together and experience something together, right? The enjoyment of it, the tears, the laughter, the gas of surprise, all of it together, right? You build, you're bringing people, the communities together, right? I said, maybe uh, if that's the thing, uh, then that's what we should be about. And he bought it wholeheartedly. Now, there are two ways to do it, uh, Ryan. You can do one feel-good thing about like how we bring communities together and people watching uh, things and they come out and uh, the, how good they feel and how together they are. That's one way to do it, right? But I said, okay, what could be more powerful? Is that how can I turn that into a fight? Is that if we are for bringing communities together, then what are we against? We are against division. Right? That's our biggest enemy. Right? At that point in time, one of the things that is going on, and it's been going on in this country forever, is that we are being divisive towards each other based on uh, regions and all of that. Right? And I said, what can we create something that gets people to rethink that? Can we get people to say, hey, you know what? Uh, man, we are just all being petty. We can we sh- can and should rise above it. And so and the opportunity to do that, uh, which uh, pissed Madhukar Kama off a, a lot because, I mean, he had a 12, 14 crore media budget. We didn't spend one penny of it, right? Um, 
it just whatever uh, I think it is some 60, 70 lakhs back then to make the film and that was all that this thing. Okay. And this is what happened. What we created. Uh, so stop sharing. Now the thing is, uh, I'll tell you what happened, right? This ran in all the cinemas, which cost them nothing, right? Um, and it was because before every uh, movie, you have to play the national anthem, and, and the thing it just replaced that. The other thing is that the channels covered it. Uh, everywhere, every uh, this pretty much every uh, channel played it on Republic Day. It was played again on Independence Day. Full free media, right? They just talked about all of it, right? Cost them 60, 70 lakhs, and they got hundreds of crores of media coverage out of it. And as far as I know, it's the only advertising commercial that's won a national award. Right. So, I mean, that's how powerfully persuasive you can be. Right. Um, yeah. And um, I think uh, uh, leave it up for questions. Anybody has questions, I'm happy to answer all of them. Yeah, we open for questions. Alap, you have some question? 
हेलो सर थैंक यू फॉर इस सर्वर बोलना मत बॉबी इज गुड नफ राइट यू फॉर वेरी इंसाइटिंग सेशन एक बहुत रेलिवेंट कन्वर्जेशन जो हमारी जनरेशन में बहुत हो रही है बस मैं वो उस पर आपका ओपिनियन जानना चाहूंगा कि पेंशन इकोनॉमी एक ऐसा कीवर्ड हो गया जो हर कन्वर्जेशन में कहीं ना कहीं यूज होता है कि अभी अटेंशन स्पेन कम हो रहा है और ये सेशन में जो आपने बात की कि कैसे आप एक इंसाइट को ह्यूमन बिहेवियर के साथ जोड़ के आपकी कहानी को आपके ब्रांड को और इंटरेस्टिंग और इफेक्टिव वे में प्रेजेंट कर सकते हो तो अभी ये जो शिफ्ट हो रहा है कहीं ना कहीं कि सबको सोशल मीडिया में काफी ये अटेंशन इकोनॉमी की बात हो रही है तो उसको कैसे टैकल किया जाए तो मैं एक राइट ओके मैं मैं आपके प्रश्न को आंसर करता हूँ ये कौन बोल रहा है यार ये अटेंशन इकोनॉमी शिफ्ट हो रही है कौन बोल रहा है गूगल फेसबुक नो डेटा उनके पास है ना आपको पता है क्यों वो बोल रहा है Because you know it takes three seconds to scroll. वो बोलते हैं कि तीन सेकंड में तुम्हारा ब्रांडिंग आना चाहिए, right? Why do they say that? Make it shorter, make it shorter. Because one thing is, अगर if somebody watches it for three seconds, they count it as a view and charge you for it. Okay? वो कौन बोल रहा है यार? अरे अगर चोर तुम्हें बोलेगा मेरे पास ये एविडेंस है तुम उसको कैसे मान सकते हो हैज एनीबडी एक्सटर्नल ऑडिटेड इट आल्सो आई टेल यू वन थिंग ओके आई गेट दिस यस अटेंशन स्पैन्स आर डिमिनिशिंग राइट बट दिस इज दिस आपकी मेरी मेरे जनरेशन और इवन मिलेनियल्स ने ये इन्वेंट नहीं किया राइट बिंज वॉचिंग किसने इन्वेंट किया भाई आपके जनरेशन ने इन्वेंट किया ना आप दस दस घंटे पूरा आठ एपिसोड चार्ट डालते हो राइट कभी कभी खाना नहीं खाते बाथरूम ब्रेक में नहीं होता हो आप ही लोग कर रहे हो ना तो वोट से डाइक आउट मी राइट मैं एक बात बोलता हूं राइट सिंपल प्रिंसिपल ह्यूमन प्रिंसिपल्स पे जाना राइट इस The principle is if you are not interesting, nobody will be interested in you. So interesting, oh na, hey, that's the whole point. And so, that's what you need to concentrate on. Man, these are some pundit, na, who are saying that you can't take everything that they say. वेरी सीरियसली खुद का दिमाग इस्तेमाल करो आप राइट एंड दीज थिंग्स आर सिंपल इट्स बीन ट्रू बिफोर इट विल ऑलवेज बी ट्रू बिकॉज यार पीपल वॉच लॉन्ग फॉर्म वो अपना भुवन भाम का स्किप तो दस सेकेंड का होता नहीं है ना भाई इट्स लॉन्ग टेन फिफ्टीन मिनट लॉन्ग ऑल्सो यू नो वाई ही किप्स इट लॉन्ग बिकॉज ही मेक्स मोर एडवर्टाइजिंग रेवेन्यू फ्रॉम यूट्यूब इफ ही डज दैट ज्यादा एड्स डाल सकता है ना यूट्यूब दिस थिंग एंड पीपल आर वॉचिंग इट यार लाखों के व्यूज मिलते हैं उसको ब्रांड्स डू दिस बिकॉज दे आर बोरिंग राइट नो बडी वॉन्ट्स टू हियर यू टॉक अबाउट यू मेक इट ह्यूमन मेक इट रिलेटेबल मेक इट एंटरटेन राइट देखो इफ हम लोग बात कर रहे हैं यू गेट नथिंग आउट ऑफ माई कॉन्वर्सेशन यूल वॉक अवे और यूल ट्यून ऑफ न whole thing is my your principle needs to be ke bhai every engagement with your my brand needs to be rewarding to the uh, consumer no they are giving their time and attention they need to get something out of it either entertainment or provocation a way to think about the world a little bit differently something useful something physically rewarding right uh, money off something they need to get तुम बोलोगे मैं कुछ देने वाला नहीं हूं मैं अपने बारे में बात कर रहा हूं आप मुझे अटेंशन दो मेरा प्रोडक्ट खरीदो अरे यार मैं क्या तेरा बाप हूं क्या कि तूने बोल दिया और मैं करूं हम लोग का कोई रिश्ता नहीं है अगर तुम रिश्ता नहीं बनाओगे तो वेस द क्वेश्चन ऑफ रिलेशनशिप एंड लॉयल्टी और एनी थिंग थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू
नहीं वापस सर बोल दिया अभी तो मैं सर बात नहीं करने वाला वी आर ऑल इन इट टूगेदर बाबा ये कोई सर वर होता नहीं है पीपल वो हाइड बिहाइंड द सर थिंग you should yeah. not have to uh, I, 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 uh, the respect needs to come from yeah. it, it has to be mutual yeah. you asked a very valid and this thing i respect you for that right and you heard me out you are not dis- defensive so any other question um, hopefully that satisfies you if you have yeah, yeah, yeah. this thing yeah, i'm yeah. happy in okay yeah Did anybody else jain shi you wanted to ask some question and don't worry i uh, i don't bite yeah so <laughs> you can ask anything and you know i always said people there's no stupid question and there's no stupid answer yeah the only stupid people who believe that these things are stupid because on brilliant is on the other side of stupid so please ask away i will not judge anybody or anything i'll try my best to answer it and sometimes uh, my answers might sound stupid uh hi bobby uh, sanjay hi yeah. uh, hi I'm, uh i'm neel i had yeah. a question uh, so i see i see a lot of i see three four uh, veterans in advertising i should say bobby you are one of them sanjay sir you are also one of them i see vibhuti as well as rinkin as well as so all to this question is all all for you uh yeah. in today's this digital transformation and this all social yeah. media digital marketing thing you know if you go to little old school advertising uh we always used to say that if you don't have or if you don't trust the brand or if you don't trust the product as an individual you cannot market that product right agar aapko aap hi ke product pe bharosa nahi hai aur aapke product pe aapko aapka product pasand nahi hai to aap kisi aur ko kya hi bechoge correct now do you agree to this uh-huh. fact at this point and what is your take does that does it actually so uh, i'll valid? tell you one thing uh, there are people who believe in it i don't right but i need to uh, see i need to really understand uh, this is what uh, is great about the product i may, may not have personal experience of that right i've sold sanitary napkins with a lot of conviction which is empty because i've never used them right there be things that i don't but the uh the whole thing is that how do i make it relatable emotionally persuasive right uh to people no matter what the medium right even if it's like a programmatic ad it could be a small post it could be a thing on amazon uh, when you place the product in uh, um, this it could be an email anything what i'm looking to do is be insightful and be persuasive always so it doesn't matter the medium people get confused with all of that uh, see i'm same guy who won uh, a ton of awards for four square cigarettes and for an anti smoking campaign in the same year right and i was a smoker so it's i mean obviously i did not believe in the anti smoking thing right uh can people hear me yeah yes yeah 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 somebody said you, my voice is not coming so i got a little worried so yeah that's the thing yeah bhai log you know also because you talk about technology right i'll tell you guys this uh, it is going to bring about great change the business as we know it will not uh, this thing. and as i was leaving i told this is what i told the people and the people in uh, this thing is i believe within the next 3 years uh, the size of the creative department will be at least half maybe less than that and because gen ai if you are average a uh, creative person look for another career yeah because what you can do 
because AI has the exposure, some of the best work done in the past, so it'll raise the average up and it'll do it much faster, right? Uh, and as it gets trained, it'll do it faster, it'll do it slightly better. <laughs> if you are an above average creative, I think one out of uh, like about uh, one third to two third people, will, uh, about two thirds of people will uh, should look for another uh, this thing. Because one third of uh, and the people will become uh, prompt creatives rather than creative. Yeah. Then uh, instead of who survives, it's, uh, the people who will thrive, who are a great great. Uh, people who've got great imagination, great insight, great ingenuity. You know, you cannot, anybody who tries to be more intelligent, right, as a creative uh, than artificial intelligence, you'll fail because part of intelligence is native, what you're born with. Part of it is, uh, by part of it is exposure and, uh, you know, and uh, knowledge, which you'll have far more of because it can access all the work done across the, this thing and store it in his mind and be influenced in. You can't. But understand this. There's no such thing as artificial insight, artificial imagination, and artificial ingenuity. So if you have powerful insights, like human, you can tap into human insights, cultural insights, and all of that. Right? Uh, have great imagination, right? Now, if I'll tell you this, right? And this is sometimes I do this as a creative exercise. If I have to write a script, say, or whatever, right? But I'll use a script to write a story. And uh, I'll say, oh, you know what? Uh, this is for whatever. Prestige, pressure cooker, let's say. So, uh, you know what? I want a purple rabbit, uh, a stay at home dad. And a cranky baby. Now, the thing is, no AI will put these things together. Now, because I put all these three different elements, now I'm going to, my brain is going to try to link all of that and come up with a story. Now, that may not be the story for the commercial, but because I'm thinking completely out of the box, I'll reach somewhere that is different from where people have been before. Right? Now, AI can't do that. Yeah? Because there's no precedent for it. It can do a better than average thing of what was. Yeah? Uh, hopefully that answered uh, an unasked question. So, uh, Jenshi, you wanted to ask something. Uh, yes, thank you, sir. Uh, hi, Bobby. Jayanshi here. Hi. I have also started my journey about eight, nine years back in the advertising industry as a copywriter. And yeah. uh, so this is what I want to ask you, that as someone who's um, okay with deleting ideas, uh, her own ideas, and also learning, unlearning, um, uh, I think a fair understanding of that. But what I want to ask you is... Um, who do I follow or what do I follow to keep on learning more, you know, to keep on um, upgrading, to keep on evolving in terms of knowledge, in terms of skill set? Okay. Uh, obviously, follow the work, uh, the great work that's happening, right? The resources there. Don't go to Behance and all of that. It's just the stuff that's one, like, Gold lions and grand prix, just uh, gold pencils, DNA, all that stuff is all available. Just follow that, not mm -hmm. to imitate it, okay, but to see where it's going, right? Because a lot of times the, the, the great new ideas will come there. But more importantly, you know what? Follow life, consume mm -hmm. interesting things, what's happening in culture, right? Because if you do that, right, what's bubbling under the surface? What's the, you know, there's something that's happening in, under the surface right now 
that's becoming slowly uh, that's underground but it's become big it's called hindu pop it's that like very hardcore hindu this thing like fanatical almost and this mm. now where if you tap into that now suddenly man nobody most people haven't read right? okay the other thing is like okay if you want to write funny okay and a kind of funny watch different stand up comedians watch funny scenes from movies mm. right but the yeah. other thing is like go out explain go watch a play uh, read things listen to things that are not your natural inclination right mm. even stuff that you hate i've said yes to things that like that offend my sensibilities completely but i'll tell you this right uh um, no one thing i've always done uh, i've done for the longest time and i learned that from i've had amazing teachers right the people like you know steve hayden who wrote the greatest commercial ever the apple 1984 commercial that's known as the greatest commercial ever right mm. so these have all been my teacher piyush uh, you know uh, neil Fre- all these guys uh, sir, uh, sir. uh ek yeah. ek question hai mera ek minute thodi der baad hitel ji par update karne dijiye ji okay ha to you know that's the uh, uh, thing is like push yourself out of your comfort zone you learn things and all the things that you learn everything you absorb in life you know that's all fodder you know and so mm-hmm. what you put into yourself into your soul your psyche mm-hmm. your brain will come out is useful somewhere in, in the work that you do this thing yeah yeah but hope that answered your question that did that did thank you that helps a lot so here now you can uh, sir kabhi kabhi aisa hota hai ki kisi cheez ki ya kisi place ki hum branding karte hain तो उसका हमें क्लाइंट के तरफ से मतलब सुझाव होता है कि इसको क्रिएटिव बनाए पर कभी कभी इतना क्रिएटिव बन जाता है कि वो चीज बिकती नहीं है तो आ, मतलब उन लोगों का कहना होता है कि क्रिएटिविटी कुछ ऐसी मतलब लिखो कि वो बिके भी तो मतलब उस बात का ध्यान में कैसे रखू मैं दो साल से लिख रही हूँ मेरा इतना एक्सपीरियंस नहीं है मैं क्रिएटिव लिखती हूँ पर आ, वो चीज बिकती नहीं है ना तो मुझे लगता है कि मैं ऐसा तो क्या करूँ की वो बिके भी अच्छा बिके यानी क्लाइंट में खरीदे और चलाए या मार्केट में बिके जी सर कौन सा क्लाइंट देखो मैं आपको मतलब मैं मैं जो खुद करता हूँ ना मैं आपको बोलता हूँ कि मैं कभी क्लाइंट को बोलता नहीं हूँ ये बहुत क्रिएटिव चीज है या बहुत ना एजी चीज है मैं कभी नहीं बोलता और मैंने काफी सारा पागल काम किया हुआ है Uh, उनको बोलता कि भाई ये तुम्हारा प्रॉब्लम है दिस द लॉजिकल सोल्यूशन टू दैट देन वो एक्सप्लेन करता हूं मैं एंड देन मैं अपना काम वो काम जो होता है एकदम इट्स अ लॉजिकल एक्सटेंशन टू द प्रॉब्लम राइट जब वो आप करते हो ना वो सर ओके ये सोल्यूशन है राइट वो क्रिएटिविटी और ये ना हमें उसमें इंटरेस्ट है अपने क्लाइंट को क्या चाहिए वो इफेक्टिव होना चाहिए उसका प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व होना चाहिए इफ यू कैन नॉट आर्टिकुलेट कि भाई उनका प्रॉब्लम ऐसे क्यों सॉल्व होता है तो आप बेचना बहुत मुश्किल होता है क्योंकि उनसे आप बोलेंगे ये तो बहुत क्रिएटिव है आप करेंगे तो लोग खरीदेंगे राइट यस सर बट आप भूल जाते हो कि सामने वाला आदमी क्रिएटिव है नहीं वो बिजनेसमैन है ब्रांड ओनर है मार्केटिंग प्रोफेशनल है उसका इंटरेस्ट है क्रिएटिविटी में नहीं वो उसका इंटरेस्ट इफेक्टिवनेस में है और प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करने में है तो उनको बोलो कि भाई आपकी प्रॉब्लम कैसे सॉल्व होगी और कितना इफेक्टिव हो सकता है वो हाँ जी ओके सर ओके जी हाँ ओके और दूसरा एक चीज करना है नल देखो जो आपको जो कहीं पे भी कहा पे भी इंस्टा रील्स पे हो टीवी पे हो पोस्ट हो जो पोस्ट पसंद आता है ना आप एनालाइज करिए या जो 
काम बहुत सारे अवार्ड जीतता है अब एनालाइज करने की कोशिश करेंगे कि अच्छा क्यों है ओके ओके खुद के लिए जब आप समझे ओ इसके वजह से ये अच्छा है ये प्रॉब्लम ऐसे सॉल्व किया है यू विल ग्रो एज अ क्रिएटिव पर्सन राइट ओके सर थैंक यू सो मच नो नो यू वेलकम बेस्ट ऑफ लक क्या द वर्ल्ड नीड्स पीपल लाइक यू थैंक यू सर सो आई हैव बॉबी आई हैव क्वेश्चन ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स या सो हां जी बोलिए दे आस्क ऑफन that are the creative people born or they are created a and the second question is that how do we become creative very basic question but what is your point of view they all want to know about it so uh, a uh, it's not uh, never either or it's uh, yes part of a creative person is born you have some innate talent or nature right For something, because for creativity, not just a, this thing is craft, right? So, uh, you can give somebody the same thought, but somebody is a better craftsman, which just expresses it better than anybody else can, right? How do you have that in you? But the other part of the bigger part, and this is what I've done as a creative director, all as uh, as a creative director always. is i hire for hunger talent hona chahiye but if somebody is more talented but itna bhooka nahi hai na i will hire a slightly less talented person who has a lot of hunger cuz jab bhook hoti hai na you are curious you will learn you will learn the craft you learn to imitate you learn so many things right so uh, these uh, things that uh, Are important. So, how passionate, how hungry are you to become great, right? Because one understand, right? Is that in this business, if you are not tough, you won't. It won't work. Because in a good year, ninety-eight percent of your ideas will die. Many you will kill yourself, but you don't kill yourself. Your boss will. If that person doesn't kill it, the boss's boss will. If that it survives all of that, the client will kill, and it survives all of that. Sometimes the person who is producing the idea might kill it. So it's like the odds are against it, but you should be willing to bounce back and say, "Hey, you know what? My best has yet to come." Yeah. Yeah. Great. So we'll have to take the last question from Rikin. Rikin, you have raised your hands. Yes. Uh, uh, hi, Bobby. Hi, Rikin. Uh, How are you, Baba? Thank you. Eric. It is an amazing session. Uh, so I also run an advertising, a small advertising agency in Ahmedabad. So I want to know that uh, you know, with uh, digital media and social media. Uh, the role of advertising is uh, a bit shifting so how do you see the future of advertising agencies or how how uh, you know the role will change or what will uh, what will be the things that will change in advertising agencies as per well? oh, okay uh, so i think every agency will have need to employ technology right uh, get familiar with gen ai with chat gpt with uh, With the, oh God, yeah, it's, uh, this thing. The oh, I forget. I keep on forgetting the image generating uh, this thing. Mid journey, uh, Dali, and all these this thing. Open uh, AI just released a video uh, journey. I forget Sora. Sora, yeah, yeah. Sora was if you took uh, last year, the video that was created by Gen AI was. Will Smith eating spaghetti. It was horrific. One year later, you see the videos created in uh, Sora. Completely, it's all artificially generated. Nothing about that is real. There's still flaws in it, right? So, um, but it's like a world of difference. So these things are going to happen. But I'll tell you one thing. See. Uh, the principles never change right 
people will always love stories because people have always loved stories. You know, stories are the soul food of humanity. When we to hunt, right? Because that's how we do this thing. Stories saved our lives because, you know, some 20 guys go out to hunt and they've never seen a tiger before in their life. They say, are, are, ki, yeah, it's not that big. 20 of us will be able to kill it. And then they realize that tiger kills four, uh, uh, six of uh, these, the group because it has claws and it's strong and it's got teeth and all that. People run back and say, hey, you know what, if you go out uh, hunting or you're out and you see this striped animal, well, that don't think it's, uh, it's just cute and, you know, beautiful animal is very dangerous and can kill you. What is that? It's a story, right? In life, everything is a story, right? Now you'll tell me, is UI UX a story? Of course it is, okay? Look at, if I, and this is why I, I, I think design is a premier UI UX design company that uh, Dipali Sani, who is the now the CEO, she was uh, then and the CEO and uh, she's also a design head, right? So she came and asked me, you know, we are having trouble with this one client, nothing is going through and all of that. We've tried everything. And uh, I told her, uh, one thing, why don't you look at uh, this whole UI thing as a story? How can it be a story? Am I the user interface? But, okay. But in principle, just look at it. Like every user is a main character of the story. Okay. What is the story? That's three parts. Okay. One's the first act. Right? The first act is when somebody enters the app. What happens? What happens? The first act uh, of a story always grabs you and engages you powerfully, right? The second act is when you get deeper into the story that's browsing through things and how do I enable that? The last act is the climax, right? The resolution of everything. So how do you resolve that story? So what's the story you want to tell through the user interface? How do you want to resolve it? If you look at it like that, then the whole, the way you approach things changes completely. They thought about it like that and they presented it like a story. It was sold in one shot. And they've been struggling for months to get anything up to. So if you look around you, right, it's there everywhere. Okay. Uh, I believe branded content will become more and more important. Advertising will not die. These uh, commercials will not die. What is happening? Prime video and on that they're going to do what TV always did, no? They'll put ads in the middle of uh, this thing. It's just, okay, the screen is different. Or the interface is different, okay? It's no longer appointment viewing. But YouTube mein kya hota hai? Beach, beach mein ad hi aata hai, na? Jaisa pehle TV pe aata hai. So how is it different? The principles remain the same. If you're not interesting, nobody will be interested in you. That's true of a billboard, it's true of a post, it's true of an emailer, it's true of everything. It's true of you as a human being. If you're not interesting, let's say you want to join Tinder. If you, your profile's not interesting, nobody's going to swipe on you, man. All right. Does that answer the question? Yes, yes. Thanks a lot. Yeah, great, Bobby. I compliment for your intellectual efforts and hard work dedicated oh, yeah. to make this industry a better place. Yeah, uh, so I'm happy to do that. And uh, you know, I wish all of you the best of luck. Um, times are interesting and they're uh, going to be challenging. The people who will make it are the people who are quick to adapt, but they also remember the basic principles, by, uh, right? And the principles will always be. Uh, this thing like Bill Bernbach said, no, an idea can turn into dust or magic depending on the talent that rubs it. That's yeah. true of a post, no matter what you do, it's true of everything. Huh? What are you, Vibhuti? 
thanks sanjay thanks bobby for a wonderful uh, session uh, with your uh, wisdom knowledge and experience in a very simple words you explain to all of us how can we make our creative better and uh, you also made that very clear that uh, you know if we are more insightful we are we stay more relevant to the brand and we are more imaginative then there is no threat to our jobs uh, yeah. but if we don't come out of our comfort zone and uh, you know do a very average kind of churn out very yeah. average kind of creative then definitely we have threat to our jobs uh, we need to gear up better. Uh, we need to make sure that, uh, you know, our creatives, uh, the creatives overrule, uh, actually the purpose of the brand should overrule the creativity. And uh, our creative should be more purpose, powerfully purposeful. So yeah. this is what is the learning we are taking home. But uh, I think now we will be more confident in what we have been doing and always make sure that we first try to find out the objective or the purpose that the client mm -hmm. has for spending his money because unless and until client's share price is going to go up, they are not going to appreciate your work. So Absolutely. everything is so clear and uh, in a very simple words, you didn't not only demonstrated, uh, you know, by showing the uh, the work which you have done, but explained it in a very simple, clear words, because every time we have the same problem that RAR, the product is the same. There is no differentiation in the product. Mm -hmm. RAR, client ke paas budget hi nahi hai. Budget hota to main kuch karke dikha tha. But all the questions that we have in our mind or, uh, you know, the ifs mm -hmm. and buts that we live with, you have answered them so beautifully. Really. Uh, thank you. Uh, I've had great teachers, so I'm grateful for them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So thank you, Bobby. And thank you, Vibhuti. And thanks to all the participants who have come here. Keep participating. Keep learning. And do provide a feedback on the social media handles of Brand Club. And we look forward to such sessions in future also. So next Sunday also we've got a session with uh, Dr. Ajay Chaudhary, who is the founder of uh, HCL. And he's going okay. to be there. So we love all of you to be there. Right? Thank you so much. And have a happy, happy, happy Sunday. Okay.